Good morning. How can we tell the true prophets from the false? Our reading this morning is from Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 21 to 24. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God near at hand, says the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can anyone hide himself in secret places, so I shall not see him, says the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? So how can we tell true prophets from false? Three things. Three things. So number one, they present themselves as speaking for him. Number two, they're not close enough to the people to lead them to embrace God's word. And number three, their message does not lead the people to turn from their evil. So first, then, they present themselves as God's agents. They're determined to be acknowledged as his agents. But it's a pretty rare thing that God's true agents ever pause to argue about their authority. Uh, They just usually deliver the message, and you need to sort it out. They don't demand that you receive them as, as something. They're not worried about status. Instead, they deliver their message that they are called to deliver, and that's left with you, with with me, with the hearer. Now, secondly, false prophets have this caring deficit toward the people. They are not really that worried about the flock. They're more concerned with their own private agenda, and they don't really have a good connection with the people. There's a caring deficit between them and the people they're speaking to. Usually, in some which way, they're involved in self-promotion, so that's something to watch for. Be careful of that. And thirdly, their message does not lead to strong heart change. Instead, it's going to focus on trivialities, superficial things, maybe that special knowledge. A lot of times, false prophets want you to receive this special knowledge they want to give you. It's sort of Gnostic. It's kind of that idea that once you receive their special knowledge, uh, you'll be in a position to be saved. If you don't receive their special knowledge, you'll be lost. See how it works? But we're not really saved by by certain understanding in our brain. We want to have our hearts open to God. And, and certainly there is truth and error. We want to follow the right path. But saved by our knowledge is different from being saved by Jesus. I just We just want to keep that in mind. Now, friends, there's going to be more false Christs, more false prophets, and more false teachers. We, we know that's coming. And what's the solution? Well, the solution you hold in your hand, you have your Bible. This is the discerner. This is the way. You need to read this book. You need to put it from here into here. And God will help you tell truth from error by his word. So God has equipped you with just what you need. You just need to invest a bit of time, a bit of quiet time between you and the Lord and his word, and you'll be proof against all false prophets. But we need to be diligent and awake, or we'll just get sucked into the latest weird thing. False teachers and false prophets come in many flavors today. You better be careful because the devil knows which are your favorite flavors. Be careful out there. The Lord is on your side, though. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, You have equipped us with what we need. We know we're coming very quickly now into a time where, where false prophets, false teachers are going to come. So, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to be people of the Bible. There's no reason for us to be led astray if we'll just Pay some attention, Lord, to what you've already shared. Help us to get to know your word by being in this word every single day for some period of time, every single day. If we'll do that, Lord, I know you'll be with us. Bless us and keep us in your strength and in your power. Help your love to be in our hearts, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We need to know God's message for ourselves, and then we will not be victims of false prophets. God be with you today.